This is ANN News Brief. Morocco's King Mohammed VI has called for a government reshuffle, speaking, uh, seeking new blood and saying the country's development policy is not doing enough to meet citizens' needs. In a speech on Monday night, marking his 20 years on the throne, the king reproached the Islamist-led government and instructed Prime Minister Saad Eddin El Uthmani to propose new government candidates in the fall. The king says that he wants people with a different mentality and officials who are capable of raising performance levels. Morocco recently launched one of the world's biggest solar plants and one of the fastest trains in Africa. But poverty rates remain high and social frustration has led to two major protest movements in the past three years. In foreign affairs, the king said Morocco is reaching out toward neighboring Algeria. Their shared border has been closed since 1994 over Western Sahara, a former Spanish colony annexed by Morocco in 1975 and claimed by the Algerian-backed Polisario Front after a long conflict. He reiterated Morocco's commitment to the UN political process for finding solutions to the Western Sahara conflict. Lawyer for a blogger who drew international attention after being accused of blasphemy said on Tuesday his client has been set free in Mauritania. Antonio Fatima Tambay told French news agency AFP, although his client Sheikh Oud Mohamed Oud Mukhtar has been released, he is not completely free in his movements. Victor was initially sentenced to death, then was given a jail term, and afterwards was held under house arrest. Citizen journalist and blogger Mukhtar was arrested in 2013 for what the state called blasphemy after he wrote a blog post condemning the use of religion to justify racial discrimination. 2017, a Mauritanian court commuted Mukhtar's sentence to two years which he had already served, legally liberating him, but he remained detained in an undisclosed location. Stay with us to we'll return after this message. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the fact behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network, ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Ethiopian officials believe the country has set a world record by planting more than 350 million trees in one day. The massive efforts is part of Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's Green Legacy Initiative, which aims to plant more than 4 billion trees or 40 trees per person between May and October. The campaign aims to reverse the effect of deforestation and climate change in the drought-prone country. Besides ordinary Ethiopians, various international organizations and the business community also joined the exercise, which aims to surpass India's record planting of 66 million trees in 12 hours in 2017. Great efforts, and that's any news brief. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, nnafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at NN Africa TV. I'm Lucy Adeyemi.